Thank you very much for the introduction and thank you for having me tonight. I am so honored to be in the company in which I get to be here on this stage. What I want to talk to you today is my uh, YouTube video show, uh, YouTube channel rather, called Person Who. So my show talks about what it's like to be a non-binary person with Czech as my first language. I am non-binary. For those of you who don't know what that means, it is a gender identity. That means I'm neither a man and nor a woman. It's kind of that simple and also a lot more complicated. I recommend you check out my channel if you're interested. Don't really have the time to delve into that right now. But um, let me ask you, I think I'm just going to use this, maybe. God. See, this is what happens when you're not used to a mouse with two buttons. How many of you here today <laughs> speak Czech? If you can order a beer, that counts. And if you can order a beer in Slovak, that counts as well. See, I am really lucky to be in this, to have you as my audience tonight, because you are uniquely qualified to understand what I'm talking about when I talk about being someone who realized I was trans and non-binary when I was living my life in the English language in California and then trying to take that back into my native tongue or my mother tongue, if you pardon the gendered expression. Um, so I, you know, and it, it really led me down this giant rabbit hole that I'm still just sliding down and seeing how far it goes of trying to figure out how to talk about myself in a way that doesn't erase uh, my gender identity in my own native language. I'm gonna play you a little clip of where I set up the issue of just how complicated this is in Czech versus English. Maybe. I had lunch with a friend yesterday. It's the simplest sentence, and to those of you who don't see the issue with that, but in Czech, that very simple sentence will translate four different ways, depending on the gender of the speaker and the gender of the friend. So it would be, měla jsem oběd s kamarádkou, which would be, I, a woman, had lunch with a female friend. Or, měla jsem oběd s kamarádem, which would be, I, a woman, had lunch with a male friend. Or, měl jsem oběd s kamarádkou, which would be, I, a man, had lunch with a female friend. Or, měl jsem oběd s kamarádem, which would be, I, a man, had lunch with a male friend. Yeah, so see, <laughs> I can't even tell my mom about what we had for lunch because I'm like, especially if it's like me and another non-binary friend, and then I'm just like, um, and that, that's been really hard for me because I want to share my life with my friends and family who don't speak English, but then it's, it's really kept me back. So I started making this show really for myself, both to kind of like look at the issue and wrap my mind around it and try to figure it out, not holding my breath, but try just going for it. And also as a resource really for myself, because then people who are not like you, who speak both languages, and when I show that, you all understand. In English, there's what's called neo-pronouns, which, which are made up pronouns for trans people to use that fit their gender identity. And you can just plug them into the language, right? And the rest of the English sentence stays the same. Um, in Czech, that is so much more complicated and it's so hard for me. It's been very hard for me to explain that to my American friends who have no concept of this. And it's also been hard to me for me to explain this to my Czech friends who don't have a concept you know, who, because the Czech language is structured so rigidly along the gender binary lines, it's really hard to break away from that and imagine a way of being that is different from that. So um, that's what I'm going down. And that, that's a lot of different interest groups or ideas to hit, right? But YouTube's actually been really great for that for me because it allows me to go follow different ideas and different rabbit holes. And um, yeah, that's a QR code. Please subscribe, thank you so much. Um, I'm not as far along as I'd like to be yet, just because I am just one person and I put a lot of effort into each video. And um, But there's so many ideas that I'm really looking forward to exploring and getting more nuance and detail than complex. So I hope you follow. And I mean, why is this important? Really, it's important, my gender identity, discovering it, realizing, starting to understand. You know, I always thought I was a weirdo in like a uniquely bad way, and now I know I'm a weirdo in a trans way, and it's just like wonderful, and uh, I love it. I love that for myself. And um, I only realized that because I saw other trans people as human beings out in the world, not some caricatures that I thought trans people were when I was a kid and first heard about what it meant. Um, so it's really important for me to introduce these ideas into my way of speaking and speak in a way 
that's authentic to myself, when I talk about myself in my own native language, again, um, that shouldn't be too much to ask. You know, the language needs to serve the needs of its speakers. Um, um, about, I'm good, okay, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, that's really what I'm trying to explore here. And also, visibility is important to me. Because again, I only found out by seeing other people in the world. Unfortunately, with visibility comes at a price of possible discrimination and even violence, because unfortunately we don't live in a society that's very open and loving of trans people on the whole, but it's just too important to me to be authentic as who I am. So thank you so much for your attention. I hope you follow my channel. Thank you. Yeah.